Hey, Lisa. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for working with us today and all this technology. Of course. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is Lisa Roberson. It's Roberson. I'm saying it right, right? It's Roberson, but I answer to both. <laughs> okay, but that's how Tara Tara works. Everyone calls me Tara, and it's Tara, so I'm sensitive to that. So Robert, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like Robertson without the T. That right, sense. exactly. That's exactly what I tell people on the phone <laughs> when I'm telling them how to spell my name. Yeah. That's, that's actually smart. I like that. That's a good way to remember it. Okay, so Lisa, you're in D.C. Where do you live at in D.C.? Are you in the city or... Outside. I live outside the city in Vienna, Virginia. It's probably about 20, 25 minutes into DC Indeed. from here okay. with, without traffic. And that's what we have these days. <laughs> yeah, right. I was going to say, someone just posted a picture of LA traffic with like no cars. I'm like, what a strange situation. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, DC traffic, you said DC traffic's bad, right? Uh it probably depends on where you live and um, where you're going and what time. Okay. I, I typically try to work my schedule so that I'm not right in the thick of it. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I like but that. But you can't always do that. So you just allow extra time. Work with, right? Okay. And how yes. long have you been with Mohawk in D.C.? Uh, a long time. 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> 22 years. That's amazing. Okay, you should be proud of that. I don't think people get to say they stayed at a company that long. That's a good thing, Lisa. Oh, I, I really love it. Um, it's good. just nobody's expecting that when, when they ask that question. I love that. Well, and I remember my first job out of school, I was, um, I used to be a designer and I was working with uh, a client and I remember they said something about having been there for like 30 years and I was thinking, yeah, people don't do that anymore. And here I am. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Well, we were talking a little bit about the DC market. I've loved asking people. Uh, we've been doing a lot of calls across the country, and it's been interesting to hear each market. So you yeah. said DC. How's the, how's the DC market doing in all this? I mean, fingers crossed, but right now it feels, feels like they're just plowing along. Um, you know, dealing with our, our new limitations, but I mean, I'm still getting a lot of actual orders. I mean, in addition to sample requests and everything, but actual orders coming through. Okay. I think people are taking advantage of the, of the offices being empty to do the renovations. Okay, got it. Now, are you mostly on corporate or what side are you, what sector? Yep. Corporate and retail, but mostly corporate. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was wondering about that because it does seem like if you have the capital, it seems like the right time to be doing renovation Absolutely. if it's empty. So, all right, cool. Um, how do you think this is going to affect corporate design? Do you have any thoughts on that? I know a lot of people are working from home now and it's going pretty well. Like, do you have any like predictions? Yeah, you know, um, I think people, I, I've heard a lot of people talking about how much they're craving getting back to work and that social atmosphere. No doubt this is going to impact things. And, you know, now, when everybody get, gets back to work, they will have set up at home a situation where they can work from home more easily. So I got to think there's going to be more of that. Oh, and, you know, even my kids' school, they, they're doing all this ramping up, trying to get prepared to do it, teach remotely. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't even. How old are your kids, Lisa? Um, early teens. Early teens. Okay. So you're yep. going to have the whole homeschooling situation. Is that right? Yeah, so fortunately, they're old enough that they get on and they know more about what they're doing than I even have to. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I feel so bad for all the parents trying to figure out this, like, some of our reps have, like, kids in that 10-year-old stage and lower, and oh, yeah. like, I don't know, I don't remember how to do this stuff. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> so what's been some fun stuff you've been doing during quarantine, Lisa? Um, well, we've been cooking a lot more, uh, okay. obviously, because... Yeah, that's what you do when you don't go out to eat um, and reading a lot. But uh, there was also been some cookie baking. Okay. Some solo cooking baking with the kids. So that was interesting. You take for granted some of the things, you know, what order to mix things in and how the cookies are going to turn out. But not yeah. so if, if this is your first cookie baking ever. <laughs> what kind of cookies did you make? Just chocolate chip? Oh, I, did, I didn't make any. Uh, Toll House was... Uh, no, Toll House, you know, okay. classic. 
I the love first it. batch look, didn't look like classic Toll House, but <laughs> the second batch much more so. By the time they had some practice, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. And then you said, like, what, what's a book or a show that you've been reading that you've been really into? So... I, I tend to like intense uh, TV shows. So Ozark has been Ozark. a favorite with me lately. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, like a lot of people have been recommending that. And I just, I'm trying to get into it, but I don't know. I think I need more of the lighter, fluffier stuff that ends really like nicely at the end every time. I like some of the crime shows, but I like the crime <laughs> shows that have that like formula. Like, oh, there's murder. We're going to figure it out. And then at the end, it's like, they all hug. It's a team. <laughs> I kind of like those where I can predict it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I have to ask, have you seen Tiger King? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, for sure. I feel like Netflix could not have timed the release of that docu like documentary as right. than they did. Yeah. Right. Totally. What did you think about it? So I didn't watch it. And I can't bring myself to watch it. Um, I don't know. Everybody's you. talking about it, but I yeah. see the, I saw, I watched the preview yes. and I saw somebody else's analogy to it, like yeah. honey boo boo. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> yes, it <laughs> seems <laughs> just <laughs> like that kind of train wreck. And I don't think I can. What's really interesting about it is they did it as a documentary, right? But the producers like discover all this crazy stuff as it goes. So it really is one of those things that you get like sucked into because it just keeps getting weirder. <laughs> Definitely, if you like intense drama, it's definitely not intense drama. It's like very much on the weird side. <laughs> like, but it's also kind of fascinating that's happening present day because you just don't feel like it can be a present day thing. And it's interesting, Lisa. Maybe stay away, but if you get really bored, maybe that's where you go. <laughs> There's just so much still on my to watch list that that's I'm right. like, I don't even think I'll get that desperate. <laughs> Put it <laughs> oh my gosh okay well is there anything else you kind of want to close with here any thoughts on the design industry or the design world or what's happening um i've just been impressed with people's resiliency um you know everybody getting in the groove doing the same work from their homes um i mean i, I do a lot of email correspondence i'm i'm going to wade into that whole video presentation I'll world next part. week <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So just impressed with the resiliency. I think that's so true. It's like amazing what we can all accomplish very quickly. I feel like everything switched really rapidly. So that's pretty cool. Do you guys have a lot of webinars going on or anything like that at Mohawk? Yes. Um, every, every Wednesday at noon, I think, or one, I can't remember. Um, we, we do a, a webinar for clients and then we have a lot of internal ones going on but the the others are all accredited for uh idcec aia as well as a couple of them are usgbc GB, gcbi accredited wow okay cool a lot of people have been saying they've been wanting to do stuff like that just to keep it now yep. the time i guess right <laughs> yep 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 you can um if for anybody that's watching and yeah. wants to go check them out our mohawk group Web's uh, Facebook page has all of them and links to sign up if you'd oh, like. That's great. Okay, head to the Facebook. Group. I didn't even know. I gotta check that out. I don't know if I follow you guys on Facebook. I don't even go on Facebook. I do Instagram and um, LinkedIn, but yeah, I knew to go there for that, so right. I, I pulled okay. it off and sent it to people. I'm trying to work on my Facebook game, my LinkedIn game, and then TikTok, Lisa. I don't know anything about this TikTok situation. <laughs> on TikTok, are they doing TikTok? dancing I, I'm not there <laughs> <laughs> maybe that'll be my next step after I do some video some um, video yeah. chat presentations there you go maybe we can learn TikTok together because there you go me, so that'll be our next our next goal <laughs> awesome well thanks for coming on Lisa I really appreciate it I'm glad you're thank you you're wonderful okay great to see you bye see you bye bye